Good morning, my friends. Welcome to the 10 Minute Book Talk, where three best selling authors talk all things bookish with you for 10 short and sweet minutes every week. This week, as usual, I am with my hostesses with the mostesses, Catherine Ray. There she is, the beautiful and talented Rachel Linden. And today, my friends, we have the it girl in the room. Yes, Sonali Dev is in the house and we are super excited to talk about her book, The Vibrant Years. Sonali, do, oh, do you have the book with you? Hold it up, darling. Oh, oh my goodness. Do I have the book with me? Yes, I do. My right? Gosh. She's a pro, guys. You know, right? We should, there it is. Oh. I mean, first of all, that cover. It is a gorgeous cover. Fabulous. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. It's shiny. It's, 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 it's shiny. It's shiny. It has foil and um and it is my first hard cover and that's the inside. I know, oh right? No, you know, they believe in it when they give you foil, Sonali. It is I feel exquisite. like when you get everything, it's, it's beautiful. And you know, most yeah, most authors we are very crow-like in our affinity for shiny things. So <laughs> this is so before we go into all that, Sonali, tell us about your fabulous book, The Vibrant Years. Oh my goodness. So um, it is the story of three generations of women on um, the dating scene at the very same time. So I think of it as everything I've ever wanted to say about being a woman. And uh, it is, um, I think it's, it's, it's a 65 year old hot grandmother who has, you know, some spicy secrets in her past and, um, you know, has just moved into this posh uh, retirement community in Naples, Florida, and is getting up to all sorts of trouble there being the new hottie in town. And her granddaughter um, has been, she, she's a tech genius and she's gotten herself in a situation where she needs to code an app, a dating app, uh, ASAP. And uh, she's never been on a date or used a dating app. And so uh, what better way to research dating apps than to have your hot single grandmother and your <laughs> divorced mother and yourself research them. So it's, it's this fun romp, I think. But also, um, to me, you know, the journey of being a woman and trying to live on your own terms, I think, in today's day and age. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, we, we were fighting over who was going to get a, asked the first question, and um, Catherine won. So, she okay. gets so speaking okay. of journeys, this book is Mindy Kaling's inaugural book for her imprint, Mindy's Book Studio. It has blown up. It is so exciting. How is that experience? Because I just I've watched this and I'm in awe. We've been cheering for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. What's, what's it been like? That's that means the world to me. How much? I mean, I think this has been the beautiful thing. All of uh, you know the, the writing community, all my writer friends, and how excited they are because I've been a little overwhelmed. And this is a short answer, you know, because the answer is fabulous. You know, every single thing about it has been fabulous. Um, I'm a, I've always been a huge, huge fan. I believe that Mindy has created huge inroads, uh, you know, for South Asians in entertainment. And um, and she is, I think, one of the most talented comedic writers uh, working today. And uh, she, I mean, you know, my children who are, uh, you know, in, in their early 20s, uh, absolutely, you know, quote off the office like that. And, you know, so she is across the board. She's been, I think that, um, and, and through the pandemic, the reason I think this is so important and so, so almost serendipitous and miraculous is that through the pandemic, one of the things that really helped me survive the pandemic was comedy, you know, yeah. comedic writing, comedic shows. Um, and I, you know, watched a lot of her work. I kind of, and I knew coming out of the pandemic that I was going to make a, a bigger effort as a writer to to bring actual humor, overt, laugh out loud humor to my books, because it has so much more power than, uh, you know, in, in given our world today, so much more power to kind of pull you out of that and make you kind of take things less seriously, really process the world. It helps me process the world com comedy. And I was going to do that. And so I, I you know, I, I picked out the 
uh, comedic writers that worked for me and I kind of broke down their work and, uh, you know, studied the craft. And I did this with a lot of Mindy's work because it came from a place of emotion and vulnerability. Her humor, I think, comes from there. And, uh, and it's very specifically feminine humor, which is another thing that's really important to me. And so the fact that, you know, so when I got that phone call, as you can imagine, it was, you know, I mean, if you had asked me what I, you know, the one thing, number one thing that I would want at this point in my career, it would have probably been, she would have been right up there. That is so awesome. I love that. So perfect. That's so perfect. perfect. And you and I have known each other since since you started. So I could not be happier for you. Um, I just I just am so excited about your success. I wanted to ask you something though, and I love this because you know I write a lot of multi generational things. Tell me about that. What is it you you really that sparks your excitement about writing a multi generational cast of characters? You know, for me, the seed of the story was, um, I have a 21 year old and I, I'm, you know, really close to my mother. I was really close to my grandmothers. And one of the things every time I'm talking to my daughter would strike me is how far, like if you had to do a snapshot of how much life has changed for women, I think the dating scene is kind of boils it all down in, you know, mm. into this absolute like spotlight. Look mm. at every change, right? How we make choices, what we're allowed to do, uh, you know, the, the loss of taboos, all of that. And yet our life hasn't gotten easier. It's gotten probably more complicated, even though it's so much more free. And so how my grandmother looked for romantic love and my mother looked for romantic love and I looked for romantic love and now my daughter does it kind of, I think, encapsulates the, you know, female journey over the past, you know, century. And I, you know, and so then that was the place. I think that's the place where it is so obvious that I wanted to play with that. And, um, and I think also for me personally, the support of women who didn't have the opportunities I have the fact that they wanted me to have them when they didn't have them. To me, that as an act of generosity, there is no greater act of generosity than wanting people to have what you didn't have and missed. Mm -hmm. You know, every older woman I have talked to of my mother's generation and above has said the words to me, and this is probably the most heartbreaking thing, has said the words to me that what did we do with our lives? You know, like we didn't do anything because when they watch, uh, you know, everything we get to do and the choices we've got to make, um, that there's, you know, a lot of old women who feel like we missed, you know, we missed the vote. We didn't get to do anything with our lives. And that to me, um, you know, was, I think, what I really wanted to address with this book is, mm -hmm. you know, is, is the vote missed? I don't want it to be, uh, for one. And yet, for all these women who feel like they themselves couldn't do it, for them then to push us and change the world for us because we couldn't do it if they hadn't, you know, done what they did. Yeah. That whole, like, how can you, the, the stories in there are just so rich, you know, it's, it's just beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful parts of being a woman is everything you've learned from your, you know, um, previous generations. Yeah. Oh. I love that. I grew up with my grandmother and my mother, you know, three generations in the same home. And the richness of that is, yeah, really amazing. It's replaceable. Yeah. Yeah. There's oh. nothing here. Oh, I'm so excited. And so you have had a heck of a year and a fabulous year and more exciting, wonderful things to come. Uh, what are you working on now? What can you tell us? Can you give us any kind of sneak peek on what's next? Yes, uh, you know, a lot of exciting things, uh, I think, coming, um, you know, announcements coming, but my next book mm. uh, is called Lies and Other Love Languages, and oh. uh, it's going to come out later this year, and it is, um, you know, it's it's very different, I think, from The Vibrant Years. It is the story of female friendship, uh, you know, because I do believe a lot of us feel like our soulmates are our female friends you know mm -hmm. our husbands are just our husbands and our boyfriends are just our boyfriends but our female friends are our soulmates you know they are the ones that we connect at that level and expect understanding at that level from and so there is this you know there's this friendship of these girls who have in, you know, been friends since they were 12 and um this is 27 years later uh that we find out 
that their friendship broke up 27 years ago over a botched surrogacy arrangement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the daughter, um, the child finds out by accident um, that she isn't who her mother has told her who she is. And so it's kind of a unraveling of how their, um, you know, how their friendship broke up, what, you know, what, what sacrifices and asking for what you want from those you love, the price you pay, um, you know, so it's, it's basically a story of female friendship, I think. Mm. Mm. That oh, sounds I can't wait for that. Okay, on the, on the to be read list right now. Fabulous. Oh, Sonali, I feel like we could talk to you all day, but it's the 10 minute book talk. So, um, you know the drill, you've been with us before and I sure hope you'll be back with us again. I would just like to close out with you telling us Sonali Dev, author of The Vibrant Years, hold up your book again, by the way, if you guys haven't read it, you need to. Now, what is bringing you joy today, Sonali? Oh, my daughter is home on spring break. Nice. <laughs> so speaking of, and I finally, I, I just got home from the airport and I, my husband, three days in a row, we went to the airport trying to get him on a plane to go see his mom. And uh, he finally made it. So, you know, a lot to be grateful for the small things, but this thing always brings me joy. Yeah. yeah. I so that. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for spending this time with us. We know you're busy, so it is awesome to see you. Awesome to see you doing so well. And my friends, it's awesome to see you here with us on the 10 Minute Book Talk. Be here every week because we have the best authors, the best stories, and the very most fun. And we have the best audience. So we'll see you next week here on the 10 Minute Book Talk. Bye. Thank you.